What's going on guys, it's Aaron Play, and today I'm going to be showing you how to shoot down air support and how to lock on and all the information regarding that because something very interesting has actually happened in Ghost and uh, they've very much flipped the tables and uh, changed how traditional COD has actually worked. So back in COD 4, it used to be the only way you could shoot down air support would be getting the RPG, which is not a lock on, and they're uh, shooting down the helicopter, but that was the only streak. And then they added a whole bunch of uh, air support in games like Modern Warfare 2 and uh, they also added Stinger Missile so you can take them down in this game they wanted to take all of the air support and pretty much put it on the ground that's why the UAV is now the SATCOM that's a little box you put on the floor and uh, so in return of doing that they've also taken away the Stinger missiles the uh, Panzer Force which is the rocket launcher in the launcher category uh, this does not lock on to air support and any helicopters flying around you cannot lock on so uh, a lot of people assume there is no way to lock on to any air support and things like the helo pilot are pretty much indestructible and they are very very powerful when helicopters and things like that come into the map but uh, I'm going to show you how to actually take them down. It's a little kind of secret that not a lot of people know about. And this is going to be using the Moors rocket launcher. So this is a nine support strike package uh, streak. And once you get this, it'll actually lock on for you. So uh, this is very, very useful because helicopters can be very, very powerful where no one's locking onto them or taking them down. And uh, this is a really, really good way of doing so because obviously the Panzer Force, as I said, cannot lock on. So you're pretty much going to have to try and be very, very accurate. And it's going to take quite a bit of accuracy or luck as skill to try and uh, actually take down something like a helo pilot or a helicopter that's constantly flying around the map so something you can actually do with the moors rocket launcher not a lot of people know what it's actually used for but you can actually lock on and it's also actually wire guided which means that wherever you are actually looking with the launcher in your hand this is where the missiles are going to go so when you shoot the missiles out of the rocket launcher the missiles are basically just going to fly around the map and uh, wherever you're looking of that is where the missiles are going to go they're going to follow your every move and if you look at a building if you look at a person if you look at something that is where the missiles are going to go and you need to be careful you're not looking in front of you because they can come they will actually turn right around and uh, they will always go where you're looking that's what wire guided means so uh, what you can actually do in addition to the wire guided effect is lock on so how you actually do this is normally you would actually look at the object or the helicopter for a while and then it would lock on and then you fire but in this game what you actually need to do is is uh, shoot the missiles so that they go out into the air. There are two missiles that are fired from this Moore's rocket launcher. And then afterwards, you will see kind of an orange glow around the target, around the helicopter you're trying to take down. And then it will start locking on and you'll hear the high pitch beeping. And then the outline of the helicopter will turn red. And at that point, you have actually laser designated the helicopter. And then the missiles, the two missiles that are in the air that you're kind of flying around the map, they will actually turn around, come right back and then take out the helicopter. And it's a really, really cool thing. Not a lot of people know this is actually possible or what happens when you actually do this, but uh, pretty much all the air support you can actually do this for. Just look at the objects, fire the missiles into the sky and then designate it. The rockets will turn around, come right back and take out anything that you've actually locked onto when it has that red outline around it. And something else that's really, really cool is that the helo pilot, I believe it's like an 11 or 12 kill streak. Uh, once you actually in this, it will actually have the ability to flare. Sometimes it's computer controlled, but sometimes there's an actual button you can press as a helo pike gunner and uh, you can actually deploy flares which will divert any missiles but when that happens uh, the missiles obviously be diverted but uh, you need to make sure that you're either really close to it or you just fire multiple missiles at a time because you can fire two lots of two rockets out of this Moore's launcher and that is how it actually works so make sure that you'll be in that team player and taking down air support because it's always really annoying when there's a helicopter flying around and no one really knows how to do anything about it in COD Ghost because as I've said, there is no stinger missile that can lock on. So uh, this is the best method on how to take down air support, how to lock on and uh, how this all actually works with the Moors launcher, which is a support streak in the support uh, strike package. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then feel free to give it a thumbs up rating. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter where you can ask me questions and talk to me a little bit more. And uh, you can subscribe to my channel for future videos and making sure that you're not missing any of those. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later. Jump!